making an, it an engine of growth. Blanket farm loan waiver, waivers don't make sense because they go to the wrong people, there's a lot of expenditure, etc. Mm -hmm. Specific waivers in case of people who can't pay, just like you do for industrial corporations, make sense. Mm -hmm. Now going to the issue of uh, a universal basic income for farmers, again, to the extent it substitutes for more distortionary subsidies, it may make sense and of course you want to taper it off as you get to larger and larger farmers. Mm -hmm. But for that, you need to plan well, you need to identify who, who is eligible. And of course, there is the question of, does it go to the tenant? Does it go to the owner? What about tenant farmers? What about agricultural labor? That's right. Those are, now, agricultural labor, to some extent, Manrega is, is yeah. meant for them. Yeah. But what about the tenant farmer? How do you deal with them? So these are issues that need to be thought through. Well, the former RBI chief also commented on the IMF report, which said that India will continue to be one of the fastest growing economy. Raghuram Rajan believes that growth without job creation in India is rather futile. Let's listen in. It's the one big global opinion that really counts as far as India and global growth and all the head and the tailwinds are concerned. Who better than Professor Raghuram Rajan, who joins us right here on ET Now. Thank you very much for being with us. The IMF has cut the global growth forecast, but believes India has the potential and the growth will pick up in 2019. Uh, we have so far been a one-engine economy. Consumption has been the mainstay. Uh, are you somebody who's going to celebrate the fact that we'll have potential to grow up? Or are you a little worried that even that growth is dependent on a benign oil regime, which can turn volatile any time? Well, there are certainly vulnerabilities. So let's start with cup half full. Yes. Uh, yes, it is good to see that growth continues at the seven plus pace. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is worrisome, of course, is uh, some of the uh, underpinnings of that growth that, uh, as you said, it's largely consumption, but also that it's not creating enough jobs. I mean, uh, one can dispute the jobs figures, but the fact is there are lots of people looking for very few jobs. And, and so given that, I think uh, going forward, we have to move it towards a more job creating economy. Also, there is worry about the fisc. Uh, we have a budget coming up, but we have lots of expenditure plans. And of course, as the CAG has said, uh, the quality of our fiscal uh, consolidation has not been great. There's a lot of off balance sheet stuff. And so I think looking forward, uh, it is very important we focus on macro stability even while moving towards a more job-creating economy.